Alrighty, hello everybody and welcome to a very special episode of Pintech Live where we have George Gomez and Mike Vinicor here to talk all about James Bond Pinball. Welcome to the show, y'all. Hey guys. How you doing? Hello, Internet. <laughs> hello. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Before we, we dive into anything deep, we just want to check our audio levels and all that good stuff. So let us know if... We sound good. Kyle, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. It's uh, <laughs> it's always nice to be joined by uh, some wonderfully talented creative people um, while we talk about their creation. So should be a good time. Awesome. We sound good? All Do right. I sound okay? No echoes? We've got a uh, good. funny uh, microphone camera set up today. So if it sounds good, I'm happy. <laughs> awesome. Sounds good to me. All right, cool. Yeah. Well, welcome everybody to our forum on uh, James Bond Premium. Um, George was with us a few months ago when we went over the pro model, and now we are lucky enough to have the premium version here. Um, and we wanted to go over, you know, our standard dealio, show the different uh, mechanical assemblies in the premium version of the game. Um, and go over what they do and how they change the experience uh, as opposed to the pro. Um, so, I don't know. You guys want to take it away real quick? Yeah. So um, I think I think the the one piece of news that everybody is going to be happy to hear is that we're doing another code release next uh, week, yeah. and uh, you're going to get mode stacking. So you're going to be able to stack, you know, probably 20 modes that'll be in the game. Um, and you're probably going to get the Dr. No mode, which you don't have right now. Um, so that and, and a bunch of um, small rules polish. And we can talk a little bit more about that. Um, so one of the things that that we're going to talk about today, because we've got we've got Mike's time, is we're going to talk a little bit in detail about some of the stuff that's coming in the way of the rules. And, um, you know, we can dive into how the ones that are there today work and and sort of some optimizations on on how to approach playing the game um i've also got um uh, my my solidworks master model fired up so we can dig into um the play field and some of the assemblies um would love to show you guys some of the thought process behind some of those things um i've also been talking to the tech service guys and i know some of the things that they've been seeing so i'm going to cover a couple of things um, to make it to make 
get rid of some of the mystery on on how things work. Um, so we can do that. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, let's let's start with that. Um, what are some okay. of the things that have been reported to tech services um, over right. the last couple so months? So there's um, some early, um, I think they were LEs mostly, went out with um, with clutches that were not tight enough. And so the a lot of, you know, a lot of people, not a lot of people, but some people struggled with uh, the jetpack. And so, and it's a, it's a, like a simple, like, you know, two minute fix. So I wanted to kind of go into that in case you did get a jetpack that, that uh, had the issue. Um, so we can talk about that and we can talk about just the theory of operation because some of the guys tried to run uh, the, you know, there's some of the functionality in the menus and they didn't quite understand what that, what it all meant. So we can, we can talk about that. Uh, also, um, if you want, I oh, can dig into the play field and, and show you. Also, it should be noted that in the last release, 0.84, uh, we cleaned up the jetpack motor test and the calibration page too, so that got better. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a big one. Um, you know, that, that's that's a big one because a lot of people thought they had an issue because we had a bug that basically showed an error uh and it was it was essentially a development thing but you know we shipped it with that in there and and people started saying my game says it's got an error it, it didn't really have an error but it said it had an error so people were kind of kind of worried about that yeah so uh do you, do you want me to dig into the play field i think so that would yeah. be great yeah. all right all right let's i'm gonna share my screen all right let's do a quick switch over so i think when yeah. we take a look at it um do you, can can you answer some like maybe my questions about this mech because it is belt driven, correct? Um, yes, it is. Why, mm -hmm. um, when you're designing something like this, why is a belt driven device like this a better, worse uh -oh. than a uh, like a direct drive or something like that sure. using gears? Oh, oh no, George, what happened? Oh, George, you muted yourself. I think because it um, for, for whatever reason, when I switched to the, can you guys see the the play field? No, it's off now. Okay, so I think and we may have an issue because when I select, uh, yeah, it was working for a second and then it just crashed. Oh, oh there, there it goes. goes. Okay, can you see it? Yep. Okay, so let's look at this Mac. Right, so um, just to make it easier, so let's let's start with some of the things that people saw. So Pat tells me he had about 10 calls uh, of people whose bond basically wasn't moving off of the home position. And so the way Bond works is that when you start, when you uh, when when you power up the game, he's probably about here on the play field, and then he moves off of that's the ball pickup position, by the way, and we call that the home position. Okay. And um, and so when when you start the game, he moves over here and kind of hangs here until you ask him to do things like go pick up the ball. Um, later on, if you haven't figured it out, you know there's there's um, he's going to be able to drop the ball in different places on the play field, including on the tank, which is why the tank has that target on the hood. But um, let's move him back to the home position. I want to show you guys something that I can show you back here. All right, so this is the Mac. So the nice thing about uh, the nice thing about a belt is that it has inherently it has a lot of um, uh, it, it allows you to deal with a lot of tolerance variations.